Shift. You know, all these all these things that happen in the city that we all want to share and then as soon as we want to save our own children's lives and our own lives this is the outcome so um, it, 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 I'm not going to say it shows the importance because that's not what it's about nobody woke up in the morning first thing and said I'm going to support a no more nice campaign you're probably looking for the ibuprofen and a drink of water especially on a Sunday morning but first and foremost, I want, to, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody, all the other campaigns, all the other families, anybody involved right now. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. We're just normal people, we're not celebrities, we're not football players, we're not singers. We're just normal people trying to do a good thing and any sort of outcome rather than zero is massively, massively appreciated. So thank you. It at one o'clock, we're all going to sing Stand By Me, you, you know why we sing it, we sing it because it, it, it promotes unity and it's, it's a, a song connected to the No More Knives campaign, so we're we'll going to have a little sing song at one o'clock, but before that starts we've got Peter Riley from Shimon and a massive band and he's took his time out today just to cheer things up a little bit, play a few songs while he's all have a gab, tickle each other and do what it is you do best. Uh, there's a few people I would like to, to get up, uh, some pillars of the community obviously, I can see Nick Pete who thinks he's high from Fight Disciples and works alongside us with Radio City. We've also got Tony Dodson, who's lost loads of weight. Because this campaign is not going away, it's just the beginning. Thank you so much for the See, this is what we need, guys. We need the excitement, we need people to listen. As I said, we need Mayor Anderson to listen. And most of all, we need everybody to join in. As I say, we're not big celebrities trying to be anything other than trying to save the city. That's important for you. I would like to get a new microphone. <laughs> I would like to invite one of the speakers of the family right now, one of Adam Ellison's family. No, I don't actually. <laughs> I'll find someone available. Can I get to a right club? Julian back up. Julian uh, lost their son 21 months ago, young Shampoo. I'm sure you're all fully aware of it. Just bear with it. Let's have a listen to the story that it resonates in the head. <laughs> and sit in our pyjamas and stay in the house all day long 
but we are Sam's voice now. And if Sam was here, if you can. I might not be able to, but I'm going to try, and I'm going to try for everyone's kids that are still here and for your grandkids, because we, don't, we, love, we love Liverpool and we love this city, and we don't want it to be tarnished in this way. We want it to be a happy place and for us all to love each other. I know that's not completely possible, but we'll try if we can. And thanks everyone for coming today. I know it, you know, it's difficult for us to say to come and support us and I know it's just a Sunday and you'd like to do other things but thanks so much for coming today and I know Sam will thank you too. Thank you. So, uh, you can put yourself in that place. Can you, can you honestly put yourself in that place just lying in bed and get a phone call that you, you shouldn't be murdered. I don't like to use that word, it's a strong word, but that's a fact, isn't it? Made, taken away, stripped, stolen, a child taken away from you because of somebody else's stupidity. You need to have a 10 second rule, you need to sit, think, have 10 seconds, and, and it's got to just stick in your head what's to be done here. What I would like to do before we continue is I promise them in a silence for everybody that has lost a life. It doesn't matter. Whether you've lost a life tonight, and uh, lose a life is lose a life. So while we're here, I would like a minute silence for everybody. And uh, is anyone going to watch them? I'll do it professionally. Okay, so look, let's just have a little thought for everybody. Have a thought for somebody else's families. Have a thought for your own families. Have a thought what's to be done, what's to be changed. Let's give it 60 seconds, guys. Let's go. Bye. Uh -huh. 
running up Mayfield Street on the way home and, and, and only these streets I'm telling you these the small stories because of the strength and the power of my mum. My mum was and always is my hero. My mum is the most special thing in the whole world. And I couldn't imagine. Because I've I've watched these these women now get upset. I've watched these women cry over their children. It's breaking the most strongest and most powerful people in the whole world. The superhero, your real superhero. And I can't comprehend that thought. I can't understand what it would take to be able to take away somebody's son. I don't, I really don't. I'm not capable of it. And I never will be. And to see so many superhero mothers broken like this is literally sending me down the bend. I can't handle it. It's, it's breaking my heart. And it's one of the most powerful reasons why I'm standing here today. Is one because of my mum, two because of all your mums, and I promise you, from now till I get stopped, I'll be here and I'll do whatever I possibly can to support you all. And to get your story out there, uh, I promise you, you've got me a hundred percent, and I mean that. Uh, no more knives. It's just. Let's just get off the streets, please. Do whatever you can to get off the streets. Because without you, it's just me. And with just me, I'm just Paul. Yeah. With you, I am the city. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks to everybody. Uh, the media have been asking for the correct photos. What I would like, I know you guys from the media. Guys,